So it's been two days since I've done any metal casting and I'm having withdrawals. So today I'm going to cast this dagger. Uh, I printed out this pattern on my Creality CR10. The file is called Grinded Stone Dagger and I found it on my mini factory. Apparently in ancient times people made daggers out of stone. I don't know whether they used them for ceremonial purposes or everyday life. But this pattern turned out looking really, really nice after I spent quite a while cleaning it up with uh, some primer, sanding it, filling up some voids with water putty. I think this is going to turn out really nice. And today I'm going to cast this in aluminum bronze. And this is going to be the first time that I'm going to use aluminum bronze. I've always used uh, tin bronze, but I'm kind of excited to give this a shot. So one thing I'm not going to do here is uh, talk about the, the mold making all that much. Uh, it kind of bores me to death to, uh, to edit that part in every video. And I think by now, if you're a subscriber, then you've seen the process already. Um, and if you're a new viewer, then you can just check out some of my older videos where I explain it. So this is what my mold looks like. Uh, the gate is pretty large. Sorry if you can hear that, that's the wind on my garage. But the gate is pretty large and I made the sprue um, much bigger than I would make it normally for this because it's going to be an aluminum bronze. And aluminum bronze has issues with uh, shrinkage. So we'll see how this works out. Alright, so I got my mold made. Now it's time to melt some copper and then uh, put in some aluminum. I'm so used to saying tin, I was going to say tin, but this is going to be aluminum bronze. And I'm going to do like a 90-10 uh, ratio, so that should be enough. And I'm melting four pounds here, which is a lot. Um, but I want to have plenty so I can fill up the sprue completely. All right, I'm going to see if I can do this without blowing myself up. All right, so let's open this thing up and see what happened. Um, my pour went really well, meaning I poured the metal into the mold really very quickly, which is good. Um, and it, you know, I, well, all right, here we go. Here it is. All right. So how cool does that look? How it's all rainbow colored like that? Wow. Nice patina. Molds seem to fill out pretty well. Um, right now I don't see any major problems, but I won't find out if there's any major problems until I actually open it up, you know, the entire way here. Grab it. Oh. Okay, we got a couple problems here. Yep. Right here and right here. Shrinkage. So I don't know if you can see on the camera, but there's a little uh, dimple here and a dimple here and a little one here as well. So, so the way to correct that would be, I believe, to um, 
add some risers here and possibly some feeders. I really didn't want to do that because I didn't want to have to go in and uh, and clean off those you know those areas. I was really hoping that I could get away with doing it like this, but unfortunately, uh, that's not the case. This actually doesn't look that bad, honestly. It it really doesn't look that bad. I could just leave it like that, but you know maybe I'll do it again with uh, just normal tin bronze and just leave this one the way it is. Here it is after I clean it up with a little bit of soap and water, and I have to say. This surface is incredibly smooth. This is definitely the smoothest any of my castings have turned out. This side in particular is even smoother than this side. You can see that there's only a couple small um, pits there. That's really not that bad. Uh, this could have been vented better, but uh, I really wanted to avoid having any vents coming off of the casting directly so I didn't have to clean up those areas. Um, and of course there's my those are my little dimples there from, from the shrinkage. This side isn't as nice, but it's still very smooth. Just have a little bit more pitting because this is the top of the casting where all of the little bubbles and stuff, you know, they rose up to the top. So I'm gonna clean this one up. And if I want a perfect one, I'll probably just do tin bronze because I don't wanna have to deal with the shrinkage. That's gonna be difficult to, uh, to combat. I cut off the sprue and filed it down a little bit. Also, I fixed the tip. And then I spent about a minute uh, sanding it with some 220 grit sandpaper. And I can already tell that this is gonna be super easy to clean up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna polish the blade up to uh, a mirror finish, and then I'm gonna heat the handle up and give it a nice dark brown patina. This is what it looks like after being sanded with 800 grit sandpaper. Now I'm going to put an edge on it and then do the final polishing. I just ground an edge on the blade. I left it a little bit dull so I didn't cut the hell out of myself while I was doing it. Unfortunately, I nicked the surface a few times so I had to re-sand it and now I'm gonna polish it up. Also, I, uh, I sanded this area as well. Looks pretty good. I just spent quite a while polishing up the blade and the back. And unfortunately I ran out of my nice polish, so this left uh, some marks. I had to use a lower quality polish. The next step is gonna be to uh, heat up the handle with some map gas. Um, I did some experimentation with the same alloy, and unfortunately it didn't really change colors at all, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyways and see if I can get a nice dark patina on here.
So I wasn't as successful with the patina as I would have liked, but there are some really cool greens and purples in here for whatever reason. Uh, the end darkened up quite a bit. I really like how this turned out, and I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is for now until I get some nicer polish. As for aluminum bronze, I don't think I'll be using it much in the future. It definitely has its place for things that need to be really tough, like hammers, but for me, I really don't like to deal with the fact that uh, you have to uh, compensate or counteract the shrinkage. Casting is complicated enough without that. For reference, this is a tin bronze, and you can see that this has a slightly pinker tinge to it, and I was expecting this to be much more golden in color. This is also tin bronze. So if you've enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe for future content, and if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments.